Hello everyone, this is the evening of the 13th. I forgot to post the video. Actually this video, the last video, I, I was ready with it this morning and I did not post it till the afternoon because it got so busy the whole day that it just hit me around 3 o'clock. Oh my god, I didn't push the button. And then I forgot to post the video I talked about in the video that I will immediately post. So let me catch up with that and then one will follow after that but in this I just want to say thank you so much guys you're just so awesome and it's really not about me and I don't want to talk about me but I want to thank you with a whole heart of your comments everyone Lisa, Kim, M Michelle, Honey Pie, Krabby Bag that's so cute you guys are so sweet thank you for the comforting thank you so much so hallelujah <laughs> Well, glory to God. Yes, oh, glory to God. I put this behind me. I would have more to say, but will not, because it's all glory to God, and He is merciful. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to be genuine. That really is my, my desire, just to be genuine, just to really bring glory to God. It's not easy, really, because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm so imperfect, God. So that's not saying I, I shouldn't go there. The Lord says, drop it. Leave everything behind, don't look back, don't be negative, and this is for all of us. I hope you don't do this, maybe not in the fire all the time. Anyway, praise the Lord. So let me quickly post the video with Reverend Mary, but I promise, which is titled, It is finished, Jesus is coming, he really is coming. I mean, I have no doubt that he is on his way. Really, truly believe that, always believe that. <laughs> That's the truth. I mean, when he told me in 2013 that I'm coming, I wanted him to come next day, and I waited and waited. And I remember when I was in 2012, I remember the dates because I know where I lived at that time and what was associated with it, that I was sitting up and I was sitting, watching the skies and praying and waiting and just feel the atmosphere. And he poured into my spirit a whole series of poems you know I'm not a psalmist or anything it's all coming from above so he gave me about 60 poems and I love those poems I mean they just make me cry maybe I need to read some for you guys because it's really not me it's the Lord I feel like that when I say these things it's the same spirit the same anticipation and love applies to you too I don't feel this is my production I feel that this is ours it's the bride waiting for the bridegroom and the bridegroom gave those beautiful words put into my mouth because once I or onto my ready pen you know because once I wrote those then I never wrote poems again praise the Lord hallelujah there was one time in my life when I did poems when I was very disappointed in my um, in my life station with my relationship with my husband and I struggled with that and suffered with that and I remember I was sitting up three days and two nights at the computer and I'm not saying I didn't fall to sleep but I fell to sleep just at the desk and um, and then I wrote a book full of poems mostly in my native language at that time and I could pour into that all my heartache and on the third day I, I I started to write about environmental issues and you know social issues in these poems so it was really washed through me and I stood up and I said I don't love him anymore and after that was still five years of our separation so these were the two times I wrote poems in my life but the second time with Jesus that was oh my god that was just love on the highest praise the lord so i hope you are encouraged by this so let me just read a, one of those poems okay hallelujah glory to god and so with that we depart and then mary's video i will post with this one certainly i know i forgot to mention your name but i just read before i started this video i just read your comment and your story and I was just really touched by it so I thank you I'm so glad so glad 
that it makes a difference, of course. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that you guys make a difference in people's lives. Thank you so much. Be encouraged. Now I ask the Lord just to um, choose the one He wants me to read. And this might be relevant. It's not so much of a love a story, but yet it's relevant because immediately my eye on the list uh, of titles cut on Cry for a Revival Fire. Aren't we waiting for the revival? So this is it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me just say this. When you have a baby, that baby is so beautiful. Oh my God, there is none like it, right? Everybody has a baby, but your baby is so special. So remember that, okay? It's special to me. That doesn't mean it might be the best poem. It doesn't have to be. It was written in 7-18-11, July of 2011. A cry for your revival fire. Lord, how much I desire to bring to you all my thoughts, feelings, battles, wickedness, failures, victories, insecurities, circumstances, insults and insulting of others. The shies and cries of my entire distorted existence in the flesh. To show you my blurry image in the mirror. Will powerlessly invoking your holy name to confess all my past conversations, misrepresenting you shamelessly. Thanks for all the encouragement your word has imparted. Okay, I'm not going to read this. The reason being is it's already in the playlist. I have recorded two poems last year and one of them was this. I choose another one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Call to come up higher. Same day. July 18, 2011. By Holy Spirit. Have you yet to understand my call to come up higher? My sons, my daughters, the children of God, the Father of all. I called you to resign in heavenly places and look down on the world as if God's Seeing through my eyes whose thoughts are higher, come up higher, look down to see the earth in its current state, pay close attention what I show, see how it's covered with thick darkness from layers of evilness, fallen angels precipitated on God's creation like decayed accolade. Sacrilegious profanity meltdown reality to the worldwide mental institute for the inhabitants entering in coalition with Baal to kill, steal and destroy for the reward of death and malfunction, disillusion, struggle, depression, suicide, pile of vanities, material goods to exalt self above the separation from the Spirit of God, the harlot mother of all falsehood, promiscuous identity crisis, pimps, whoredom, gays, lesbians, transcendents, colors, lustful bodies busying themselves until eternal damnation without true repentance, the abominable, the secretive, the shotgun illy drug cartel, politicians, liars, manipulators, orators, counselors, robbers, murderers, rapists, child molesters, fathers defiling their own seeds, mothers selling out the fruit of their wombs for filthy lurk, dope, crack cocaine, mad boss, prescribed madness, alcohol, HDD, AIDS, HIV, STD. The list goes on of human accomplishments by human wisdom demolished to the heights of scientific relativity in the hands of the defiled, prideful know-it-alls, dignified by titles, accomplished by corruption, uplifted by the underworld. So you come up higher now, come up out of the world, come out of the world, come up higher, touch new unclean things and I will receive you. When you see with my eye, the Almighty, then remember where you came from, 
remember the divine grace bent over to reach down for you and lift you up and out of your pit. Will as the part of the world you too fell short of my glory. So do not judge what you see. Just remember that for each one of these I lay down my life and I would do it again if it would be the way. But it is done. It is finished. Now it is for you to lay down your life for their salvation. Whom shall I send? Who will, who will go for me to teach my word, to tell the truth, to bind up the brokenhearted, to heal the sick, to set the captives free, to cast out devils, to show my love, to care, to share, to give? to exhort, to exalt, to walk in grace, to pardon and forgive, to comfort and show the way to my kingdom where all restoration, all healing abides in me, all abomination washed away by my blood, all darkness expelled by my light. Tell them they too are welcome. I wait with open arms. Tell them to come up higher. I call them to buy without money, eat and drink, till they too are filled with the bread of life. Tell them to drink the living water of my spirit. Let my blood wash away all the sins of the world, theirs and yours too included. Come higher. Your trip is paid in full. Until one day. Not very far from today. All will be cut up higher who is mine and look to me will I in my righteous judgment and divine justice will blow my breath upon the earth to enflame it and done away with all that is without my spirit never ever to find then we turned together to new heavens and new earth. All things became new forever. And I shall not call you higher anymore. For I, your King and Lord, will abide with you on earth eternally as in paradise. Trust it into my sacred heart forever. Yes, forever. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Praise the Holy Name. Oh, God. Have mercy. Have mercy. Most trust in a soft wind by Marsha Burns. On October 12, 2017, allow me, allow me to glorify myself through you. Position yourself to be a conduit of my will and work. Every time you choose righteousness over evil, you bring glory to my kingdom. When you allow me to pray through you, or preach through you, or witness through you, it is a glorious expression of who I am and who you are in me, says the Lord. Matthew 5:16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works <laughs> and glorify your Father in heaven.